Hi, I'm going to show you how to draw a sphere in SketchUp. It involves two circles and a tool called Follow Me. We will start with the circles. It's important that you draw these exactly as I instruct because if you don't put it in the right plane or centered on the blue axis, it might not work as it's supposed to and it will get frustrating. If you're precise about the instructions, um, you won't get frustrated and it should be pretty easy. So I'll start with the circle tool. Now notice right now the circle tool is showing a red outline. That means that it's parallel with the, with the red axis. Um, actually it might be um, perpendicular. And if I go over here you can see I have a green one and if I come around here you can see it's blue. We need it perpendicular to the blue axis so I need to see the blue circle before I do this one. The other thing that's important for this first circle is that it's centered on the origin. So watch as I move my mouse towards the origin. It snaps there. I can tell I'm on the origin because it says origin. You can also see a yellow dot there. So now that I'm on the origin and it's perpendicular to the blue axis because the outline of it is blue, I'm going to go ahead and draw it by dragging out. And that's all I need to do there. Your second circle needs to be on the blue axis. Two things. On the blue axis, I can tell it's on the blue axis right now because there's a red dot snapped to that blue axis. The other thing is it has to be drawn from the red or green perspective. Right now I'm seeing that if I draw it, it will be perpendicular to the green axis, so it's okay to go ahead and draw it now. So I'm going to drag out. The size of this circle will define the initial size of your sphere, which of course can be changed with the scale tool. So it's kind of important, but it's easy to change. So I have the two circles I need, one on the ground and a perpendicular one that is on the blue axis. The next thing I'll be using is the follow me tool. The follow me tool does not show up here automatically because SketchUp doesn't show you all of the tools in this tool set. If we go to view, toolbars, and large tool set, we now see a whole bunch of other tools here. This one right here is called Follow Me. I'm not going to click it yet because I don't want to use it until I've selected the edge of the circle on the ground. So I'm going to switch to the Select tool. I'm going to go to the circle on the ground and click the edge to select it. You can tell it's selected when that edge turns blue. I'm now ready for the Follow Me tool, so I'm going to go over here click the follow me tool and all I have to do is go up to that top circle and click it and it turns into a sphere. It has a warning here but you don't need to worry about that um, and it disappears so now I'm really not worried about it. Uh, now that we have our sphere we don't need this circle on the bottom anymore. I'm going to take my select tool and double click and hit delete and that's gone. So now I have a pretty good looking sphere. If I orient around you can see that it's good. Um, one thing you might want to do if you're not happy with its size, go ahead and click it to select it. If you hit the S key on the keyboard, you'll see the handles to make that bigger or smaller. I'm going to go ahead and drag it to make it a little bigger. If I switch back to this tool, then I just see my sphere again. And you have what you need. It's okay that it's after you scale it that it's not on the blue axis. That was only important when we were creating it but now it's fine. So remember to follow these directions precisely. If you try to do it your own way or you do it in a different order or you don't click the edge of that bottom circle, it's not going to work right and it will get frustrating. So make it easy for yourself and be careful and specific about following those directions and you should do fine. Good luck!